I've been talking to this dude for like three weeks now. He texts me every morning, good morning, beautiful, and throughout the day, what are you doing? How is your day? But he's never trying to meet up with me. Is it me or in 2008, men have mastered staying on a woman's mind but not wanting anything? Good morning, beautiful should be followed with the, do you want to go grab something to eat? Are you hungry? Have you eaten? Because guess what? If it's not, miss me with the small talk. Because you should only be texting me those things if you're consistently taking me out, consistently spending time or money on me. If not, my day is my day. Now I'm out with another dude trying to hide your good morning, beautiful text. Hey, sexy text. Like we in a relationship that we're not in. Well, unless one of y'all can help me find it, I don't see the lie. You know, outside of the whole talking to him for three weeks before she finally caught on thing. Because honestly, as a man, three days into consistent conversation, if we really rocking with you, we're going to be asking for openness in your schedule to take you out. Other than that, 90% of the time we doing what's commonly referred to as breadcrumbing, which is giving you just enough to keep you around, but only enough to keep you aching for more. You know, that whole texting you, maybe calling, but never trying to link up thing, that's what that is. Now, my turn for it is bench warming, because it's kind of like when a dude is trying to build his roster of women, he has his starters already out on the floor, they're producing, they're scoring for him, he already done put in work with them, or they're easy or whatever, while simultaneously filling up his bench with women like you that he's not going to give real minutes to until until those starters start to get fatigued, aka start asking for contracts, start asking for commitments and relationship titles that he don't want to give. This whole bench warming thing was supposed to be like the counter punch to the 90 day rule. It's like, okay, y'all women want us to wait for sex. What we're going to do is keep you on the bench for a couple of weeks or however long you let this go on. So by the time you finally get in the game, you're going to feel familiar enough with us and count it as time served and then give us access up front to the privileges that we didn't want to have to put in work for in the beginning. Now, the other 10% of the time, you probably Probably just dealing with a dude that's one of these new guys that want to take the place of women they want you to court them they want you to take them out show them a good time sweep them off their feet they want you to be chivalrous those types of dudes but either way it go i'm thankful for women like this i'm thankful that there's still some women with standards saying i ain't going for the bs because man i got so tired of hearing all these girls making videos talking about a man can play with me a man can waste my time if he want because a man gonna be a man and i ain't gonna be single all my life like no you're nobody's bread crumber you're nobody's bench warmer you're not courting no grown man and in fact we need to go ahead and add to that list you need to stop giving men your number and instead lease your number and the lease payment should at minimum consist of doing more than just texting you actually picking up the phone, calling you, reserving time to have meaningful conversations, and actively pursuing you with consistency and planning dates and sponsoring those dates that he's going to take you on. Now, if he go too long without making that first payment or he start missing payments, then you know what you got to do. You got to go ahead and repossess the privileges to use your phone number. <laughs> Blocked.